So today we're gonna be doing some footage with my Canon M6 Mark II. It's a sunny day today, finally. It's starting to feel like spring. The most important component of today's test is to uh, check out the different settings in the image stabilization within the Canon body itself. We're gonna go down to the park by the lake walk around, get some vlog footage, basically practicing my skills, trying to get it up to par. And I have the EFM mount 11 to 22 zoom lens on there. Uh, I do not currently have an ND filter for it, so we're gonna have to stop down the f-stop quite a bit. It's a beautiful day out there. So here we are out at the park by the water. It's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, it's pretty warm out. Just testing out the vlog shots here. Uh, let's do some handheld stuff and see what kind of image stabilization we can get with the Canon M6 Mark II. Let's go. Okay, so the digital image stabilization is on and I'm currently using the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. So which has no inbuilt stabilization of its own. So this is what you get. This is the uh, enabled version of digital okay now I'm using the uh, digital image stabilization enhanced which is the highest setting that the camera has in body and there is a slight crop in factor with this setting uh, still using the Sigma 16 millimeter lens and uh, walking at a brisk pace just handheld I am NOT using a gimbal now I have to extend my arm completely straight out which is really taxing after a while to make sure I'm in the shop because of that crop. Uh, next test is gonna be with the other lens, the 11 to 22 EFM mount lens. So let's put that one on and see what we get. Uh, apparently, if your lens has image stabilization built in it, that's when you get the additional uh, setting in your camera's menu to turn image stabilization on or off. Nobody else seems to know that, or they haven't mentioned that in videos. So I was wondering why there's two different image stabilization settings within the camera itself, and now I know. Okay, final test now. Still with the 11 to 22 millimeter lens. I now have the digital image stabilization set to enhanced. So there is that slight crop in factor. I have not adjusted the depth of the zoom lens. So if it's a little bit closer to my face, I apologize. But uh, this is what we get, and I just want to compare the shaky, the shakiness or stabilization factor to each other. Now, I'm still walking at a brisk pace, so it's going to get shaky. It's going to get worse as we go. All right, I have to interject here real quick. So at this point in the shoot, it got extremely cloudy out there. Unfortunately, we had to wrap the shoot up early. I did manage to get a couple more comparison clips for you, as well as a little bit of B-roll, so we'll run that right now. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? Wanna move my feet? All 
right, so unfortunately it's gotten a little cloudy out here, so we're gonna take it back inside and check out the footage we got so far, see what we've uh, come up with. In summary, I just wanna say this. Uh, within the settings of the Canon M6 Mark II, I found it interesting that there is an additional image stabilization on off setting, which is only available if your lens has image stabilization natively built into it. I didn't realize that, however, so I have one lens that, that does have it and one that does not, so that's how I figured that out. As far as the digital image stabilization is concerned, the enabled version I think I would use most often when I'm kind of vlogging and walking around with it. The enhanced version just crops in too much for me. So unless you've got a really more of a wide angle lens, uh, something zoomed out, you know, as far as it can go, I just don't feel that that's a very useful setting uh, for day-to-day -day vlogging, running gun stuff when you're out, you know, out on the streets or whatever. But overall, the image stabilization is decent. Uh, you still need to make sure that you you have smooth mo motions when you're doing panning and walking and everything like that. So I mean, you still have to take that into account. Also, I would note I did not use any. Uh, stabilizer in Final Cut Pro and post. Yeah, so I'm still working on the vlog stuff. I realize that most of my subscribers are guitar enthusiasts, music, gearhead, stuff like that. So I mean, I'm gonna keep the channel pretty much that, but every once in a while, not too often, just once in a while, I wanna throw in something to kind of change it up and show you a little more behind the scenes of what I'm working with. And being a new content creator, I'm still new to the camera gear and stuff as well. So I'm still learning as I go. You know, I have aspirations of doing a vlog channel as well, so I think I'm gonna start that up shortly, and then I'll move all this content over to that channel. But in the meanwhile, let me know what your thoughts are on this kind of stuff. Should I do more or less of this? Should I scrap it all and just stick with the guitar? Uh, I'm good with that. You know, give me your comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for all the support. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm out of here. See ya!